Hey guys, we're here with Dr. Miles Crawford from Power Chiropractic and Wellness. Welcome, mate. Thank you for coming in. Happy to be here. Thank you. For having we're here to primarily talk about um, chiropractic uh, practices and yours particularly. Um, talk, tell us a little bit about your background to start with. I'm originally from uh, South Carolina and I um, went to undergraduate school in Lower State, South Carolina. I ran track in college the first couple of years. Uh, so I have a little bit of athletic background there. Um, after that, after I graduated uh, college at Francis Marion, I went to chiropractic school in Marietta, Georgia, mm -hmm. where I got my chiropractic degree in 1998 and uh, moved here right after that, 1999, and I've been in the same practice ever since. That's fantastic. And you have had your wife work there, so it is a bit of a family practice. Absolutely. Yeah. And you guys are based in East Nashville? East Nashville, yes, we are. Yeah. And so um, let's talk about, there is a bit of a, a myth, I think, um, as we were talking about off camera. In Australia, um, chiropractic practice is held in quite high esteem. And there is a demographic that is sort of lent to that because it is held in such a high esteem. There is a, a bit of a difference culturally here, uh, especially in the South of America, I'd say. How do you feel about that? And how do you think we can change the perception of what a visit to the chiropractor is like? I think the, the first thing we need to look at is a, a really positive thing uh, is that a lot of people have never been to a chiropractor before. So when they're hearing the story of chiropractic and, and what it is, they're like, well, I didn't realize that my body really healed itself and you could help it do that. And, and I think instead of looking at it from a negative standpoint that, you know, people aren't so keen on it, I think it's a matter of just education because when we educate our patients who come in for the first time, they're like blown away. Yeah. Like, oh my gosh, I didn't realize this. This mm -hmm. is so neat. And so generally, I mean, I know I've played a lot of contact sports my whole life. I've played Australian rules football. Um, you know, I'm, I was a typical boy growing up, jumped off everything I possibly could. Um, and so you get the few aches and the bumps and the bruises. And a lot of people will just go to a masseuse, say, for instance. Uh -huh. um, so w tell the people at home, how, do, how is it that you can relate to how your body's feeling to think, well, I'm going to go to a chiropractor because that's where I need to be right now? I think let's let's start from the beginning when when you're born the birthing process is so traumatic to the baby and the mom too of course you know you're tugging and pulling on an infant's head and and pulling those shoulders through that causes a lot of stress on the spine and that causes what's uh, usually what's called a subluxation or a misalignment in the spine that causes nerve interference or a pinched nerve in that area specifically in the upper part of the neck or the mid back for the for the newborn at that time so the first subluxation or the first stressor in life is when they're born and it's very important for parents to bring their children in or their babies in and get them checked initially to see if they are subluxated. You know, we've got all these things in, in America today, all these problems that happen with infants and, and they're like, you know, what's going on here? You know, think about this, your nervous system controls every function in your body. So when you're out of alignment and your nervous system, your brain can't communicate with the rest of the body then you're gonna to start to malfunction. So let's talk about that. I mean, for a lot of people at home, that probably is a little bit daunting to think I've got you know, a, a one-year-old or a six-month-old or something like that. Let's go in and see Dr. Miles and get an adjustment. Um, I know that I've been to the chiropractor a lot. Absolutely love it. Um, but there are some noises, some crashes and bangs. Sometimes there's a compression table or there's whatever. So it can be a bit daunting. Um, you know. Obviously, it's not a painful process, but let's talk about the actual adjustment process and how you can do that to a small, fragile child. Well, when we're talking about an infant, we're talking about a, an adjustment. There, there's not much bone going on. They're still ossifying, they're mm -hmm. still developing. So the amount of pressure, I'm putting just a tad of pressure there, yeah, right. is about that much. You hold the vertebrae and it slides back into place naturally with that specific chiropractic wow. force. And that takes the pressure off the brain stem so the innate or, or the brain and the rest of the body can communicate the way it's supposed to. Wow. And so through the, the you know, obviously the growth stages, um, I imagine once you get into the teenage years, that's probably another part of the life um, where it's very important to come and see someone like yourself. Absolutely. And between the ages of being born and five years, five years old, on average, children have about 5,000 different falls. So, I mean, there's... There's constantly something every day. 
you know, and, and I'm not saying that you have to bring your kids every day to get checked by no means, but every so often it's very important to get checked and get connected. If they're not connected, things start to malfunction. We don't want that. We're here to connect the brain with the body the way it's supposed to. And let's talk about your business specific and how you approach someone's, you know, uh, I guess, regime. If I was to be a new client and come in and see you, just so that people at home can get an idea of the process that we go through and, um, you know, the scheduling from then on, how does that all work? Okay. Um, initially, of course, there's always paperwork. <laughs> you know, that's, that's something we have to deal with, with everything, I believe. But beyond that paperwork, um, we, we do a specific uh, exam that scans the spine for subluxation or misalignments in the spine. We also do uh, certain tests depending on what ailments are going on with that person to figure out exactly how we can help them best. And then after that, um, ages 12 and up, we, we pretty much x-ray uh, for the most part a full spine x-ray because we want to know what's going on in the upper part of the neck and of course all the way down to the lower part of the spine. And um, beyond that, we put all that together and have the patient come back in and we look at all that together and we tell them exactly where they're at and what we can do if we can help them. Mm -hmm. And you, um, I mean, from reading through all the documentation involved with your business, you have a, quite a holistic approach to the whole process. I mean, you talk about dieting, um, all the other things that can be brought to it. You also have, um, you know, muscle manipulation people in your practice. Right. So it's, it's a very much, you know, a, a whole package that someone would get if they were to come and see you rather than just we're going to concentrate specifically on the chiropractic aspect. Um, there would be, I imagine, some sort of management plan put forward so that they can feel better about themselves physically and mentally moving forward. Absolutely. We, we do have different options in there. And I think, uh, like we talked about earlier, I think a lot of people are uh, off camera, that is, are, are lost with, their, um, with the things that they need to do in order to change their life. And part of that, of course, is also nutrition. But we definitely focus most, I mean, on chiropractic. We want everybody to understand why they're there. The other things are secondary because if your nervous system is not working the way it's supposed to, then all these other things are great but they're not going to work the way mm -hmm. they're supposed to. And I mean, just from some of the research that I've done as well, I mean, even someone who has been to a chiropractor plenty of times, um, having to do this interview, I did a little more research and, you know, you have your spine and obviously um, your nervous system controls so many aspects of your body. And so it can lead to digestion. It's a whole bunch of different things rather than just, oh, my shoulder sore or my neck sore. Um, a chiropractic adjustment can, you know, fix a lot of ailments as well. Absolutely, but keep in mind is that we're treating your nervous system is what we're doing and, and therefore we have a lot of positive side effects of, you know, hey, I, my digestion's gotten better, I'm sleeping better, um, you know, my kids don't have the ear infection that they had, you know, I don't have the sinus issues I've had for years, I was taking allergy shots, that's all gone. You know, those are all very positive side effects of letting your innate or your brain communicate with the rest of the body. and. And that's what chiropractic's all about, is helping your body work better. Chiropractic heals nothing. It just enables God to work through you mm -hmm. and communicate with the body the way it's supposed to and let your body heal the way it's intended. Think about this. Your hair grows from inside out, right? Right. Yeah, exactly. And your nails get, grow from inside out, mm -hmm. right? So everything is from inside out, above, down, inside out. And that's the way we heal and that's the way we grow. So from a parent's perspective, I mean, obviously, you know, a eight through 13 year old or something like that, as we say in that growth spurt, I mean, it could affect the way that your children sit comfortably at school, learn all those different things. I mean, is, is that something that you see is that the kids may come in and have specific problems or something and then it actually changes their, their life and their schooling and their sporting as they move on? We do see a lot, obviously a lot of positive changes. Um, just just like with anything it takes commitment you know because things don't change overnight but getting back to school that's a, that's a very interesting question because if you think about it we're developing as we're young obviously and if we go to school and we're sitting six eight hours a day what happens there is this is when you're standing you have a natural curve in your low back when you sit that curve disappears that naturally pushes you forward. Mm -hmm. And that takes the natural curve that's trying to develop out of your neck. Plus the fact we add texting in, we add iPads in, 
and we start talking about all those things, those take that natural curvature out of your neck. And when you lose that curvature, you're going to start to have a lot of nerve ir interference in the top part of the neck. So we focus on restoring that. We focus on as much as we can within reason, getting people out of their seats as much as possible at work. You know, not just, just kids. A lot of people are at a computer all day, and, and sitting at a computer takes that natural curve out of your low back, which mm -hmm. pushes you forward. And those are important things to do outside of the clinic. So we not only talk about, we not only help inside the clinic, we talk about doing exercises outside the clinic. We also talk about certain things to do outside the clinic in order to uh, stop doing the things you've done that got you there. Sure, absolutely. Yeah, a very interesting point. And we'll come back with Dr. Miles just after this.